has been filled with incredible experiences. I set out to grow my diving expedition skills and my medical knowledge. These goals have taken me on a journey to the ends of the earth. That's epic. That's in a deli. That's in a deli, yeah. But that's emperor. That's emperor penguins, yes. like right there. That's crazy. Coming into the scholarship, I was studying child and adult nursing. Whilst caring for children with poor mental and physical health, I noticed many of them struggle with loneliness, are disadvantaged by social economic factors, and lack access to nature. Growing up, I was very lucky to spend a lot of time outside, and the ocean is my place to recharge and find the balance between caring for others and nurturing my own well-being. My nursing and Scholarship experiences have led me to my most important journey, to bring the healing power of the ocean to these children. Using virtual reality, I hope to transport children from the hospital ward to the underwater world, to offer them a moment of respite and tranquility from their sterile surroundings. I hope that some of the children will find the same joy of being in the sea that I do and it's a step towards providing relief, supporting mental health, and inspiring the next generation of ocean custodians. Oh, it's open! <laughs> oh, your seat is your favorite. My past year has revealed the intricate link between environmental health and our own well-being. A link that is perhaps missing in our increasingly disconnected society with one in five UK children never seeing the ocean. In this disconnect, I've met so many wonderful people who are deeply connected to our underwater world. My interactions with these passionate diving professionals has nurtured my love of the sea and highlighted the continuous learning journey inherent to diving. To grow my diving skills, I did my dive master with Ocean Tribe and then went on to do my dive instructor training with ABC Diving, whose enthusiasm for both diving and teaching was a tad infectious. It's on. <laughs> with a love for the outdoors, adventure and healthcare, I discovered Expedition Medicine. Blending healthcare with outdoor skills to guide and provide medical aid in remote places. Aspiring to become a valuable team member, I joined EOS for a dive expedition to isolated South Georgia. Here, the absence of an airstrip means medical evacuation can take days sailing back across the Drake. Such situations not only impact the individual, but the entire team and can also strain local healthcare resources and The remoteness of South Georgia means it remains largely unexplored, making diving here genuine exploration. I didn't know what to expect beneath the icy waters, but was greeted by lush kelp forests, curious seals and large colourful marine life. Working with EOS gave me invaluable insight into dive expeditions and introduced me to the captivating polar regions an environment I kept getting drawn back to. I got to join Limblad Expedition's National Geographic to explore Antarctica, the highest, driest, coldest and windiest continent on Earth. The team shared their passion and knowledge for our precious planet and its incredible wildlife. And I learned how fundamental the polar regions are in regulating our world climate. 
To understand more on how to protect our natural world, I joined the Finnish Scientific Diving Academy for their first ever Polar Research Diving Program. I was immersed in minus 30 degree temperatures in a frozen lake surrounded by snowy mountains. It was here I had one of my favourite scholarship moments, driving a snowmobile under the northern lights to an ice hole I dived in earlier that day. Crawling beneath the ice to collect scientific samples and then heading back on a snowmobile to defrost from frozen dry suits highlighted the skills needed to operate safely above and below the ice. These adventures not only fueled my love for exploration, but also deepened my appreciation for the crucial role of scientific diving and research in environmental protection. With this appreciation and a desire to blend exploration with nursing, I joined Deep the NASA of the ocean. Working with medical professionals, divers and engineers, I learned about the medical bay design for the Sentinel, an underwater habitat that will sit at 200 metres and aims to advance human exploration and research. This year, I've got to develop a variety of medical skills by doing my Diver Medic Technician course with DDRC Healthcare, Expedition Medicine Training with Endeavour Medical, and working in a remote Kenyan clinic. <laughs> Nursing has taught me the importance of connection. When I started the scholarship, I was working in a hospice. Caring for someone my own age and making their last days of life as peaceful, comfortable and personal as possible left a huge impact on me and has truly made me cherish the opportunities the scholarship has provided. Without the Our World Underwater Scholarship, I wouldn't have had the privilege of exploring some of the Earth's most extraordinary places and encountering its wonderful wildlife. Through the lens of immersive VR, I hope to convey the same sense of wonder and awe that I have experienced so many times during the past year. I hope Underwater 360 will share the joy of these experiences with those who need it most. This year, I've worked with medical professionals and global underwater experts to explore how Underwater 360 could support patients and their families, regardless of medical and financial limitations. I feel incredibly grateful for everyone's support, from sharing ideas and enthusiasm to essential equipment sponsorship, underwater filming and editing guidance, and being hosted in incredible dive spots all over the world. Thank you for all your help in bringing this idea to life. Like a shelter from the storm, a fireplace that keeps me warm. Like a match can spark a flame, you start a fire inside my veins. Somehow with you, I don't feel alone. You'll always be my home. I would love to continue developing this project after the scholarship and would hugely appreciate any ideas, support and help. Hopefully we can work towards a future where every child has the chance to connect with the beauty of the ocean, regardless of their circumstances.
If children don't grow up knowing about nature and appreciating it, they will not understand it. And if they don't understand it, they won't protect it. And if they don't protect it, who will? I leave this year with a deeper appreciation for the intricate link between ocean health and our own welfare. I'm excited to continue this journey to advocate for both human and environmental well-being. One dive and one patient at a time. Thank you so, so much to everyone who has been a part of my journey.